My name is Despina Filiu and I'm a senior lecturer at Manchester Metropolitan University. This part of the course is about organizing and managing your business more effectively and learning how to develop a new strategy. It is about understanding the purpose of your business, its sources of unique value, and communicating your purpose, mission, targets, objectives, and future vision to an external audience. All these are key to your identity and support your competitive advantage and shape your strategy. By looking deep into inside your business, you will appreciate the unique value of your product offering and your contribution to society. In this exploration, the starting point should always be yourself and your personal values. Then comes your business idea. Understanding the purpose and your value and the value of your business is important in evaluating a new business idea and organizing and steering your business in a new direction. There's no point in setting up a new business or to keep running an existing one if your product or service cannot offer something unique. Consumers need to clearly identify the unique value of your offer, of your product offering, and this can be anything that makes them buy your product instead of others that they are in the market. You can add value by offering a unique product or a service, building a unique relationship with your, with your consumers, building an appealing image and reputation, offering competitive prices by reducing your costs and by finding a convenient location for your business. These are some of the examples of how your business can create something unique, attractive and appealing. These are only... Uh, you have to uh, to try to achieve your best across all or most of these areas. This is how you can maintain your consumer satisfaction and attract new consumers. Of course, it is impossible for everybody to find uh, your value uh, offering attractive. People have different interests, needs, tastes and priorities. You cannot satisfy everyone. Sometimes finding out what the purpose of your business really is includes being clear about what your business is not about. To position your product well in the market and to make it appealing means finding who your consumers are and focusing in understanding their needs. Your consumers are your most important stakeholders and it's important you communicate clearly your unique value and how you meet their expectations. It is not about, it's not only your consumers that have an interest in what you do, your employees, Everybody that has helped you to set up your business, like your family and friends, people that have supported you financially and will do so in the future, your local community, local authority, your suppliers, and now the key partners, all need to be clear about the purpose, values, and ethos of your business. For this reason, it is very important you express your core principles and values in a way that is clear and easy to communicate to a wider audience. The values of your business are your guiding post. They underpin your day-to-day -day choices and future decisions. Most times, you, as the owner-manager, pass down your own personal values, aspirations and beliefs to your business by making it deliver the changes you wish to see in society. After all, running your own business, it is about pursuing your own dreams and aspirations. If your personal values are not aligned with your business, then they come across as inconsistent and reliable. Your consumers can become concerned and disinterested, and some may switch to other businesses. Your value system guides the current purpose and overarching mission of your business. Both should go hand in hand with your future vision and aspirations and how you would like to see your business in two or five years' time. Writing down a mission statement is important. It helps you to dig deep into the heart of your business, to be clear about your priorities, to sharpen your focus and scope of your business, to set achievable objectives and targets, and to set a plan of action for pursuing your vision. Your vision. Your mission, core principles and objectives and vision are all key parts of your strategy. They provide a set of rules and principles and a common point of reference, bringing everybody together, working in the same direction. Your future vision provides a direction for your business, motivating you and your employees in a future path of progression. Designing a change in strategy comes from visualizing a new future for your business, and setting longer-term objectives. 
quite often setting a new vision for your company requires a big step change from your current position, a change in your resources and activities, and quite often it may involve adding and extending your values. There is a unique dynamic relationship across the various aspects of your strategy. This definition of what strategy is, is one of the many definitions out there and brings everything we discussed so far together. The following video shows a process of strategic change at a pub in Stockport at the north of England called Baker's Vault. Watch the following video.